Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethem and welcome back to another video. I'm once again in Arc Genesis Part 2 and this time around I'm going to show you everything you need to know about taming a Void Worm. So that is the Tech Wyvern and this has a unique way of taming it. So the very first thing we need to do is of course find one and then we need to damage it until it is below 1000 health. Now of course you can use the Tech Rifle but most of you guys won't have access to this and uh, we don't want to be dodged about too much so I recommend using the um, fabricated sniper rifle it does have a quick rate of fire we do have a scope on it and it is quite accurate as well of course not necessarily in my hands and I suggest having some medical bruise and of course a shield with you I like the right shield because I can see through it and of course to tame it we want the mutagen which you will then put in your zero slot but in order to be able to tame it you first need to take its health down so that's pretty much the way it works so over there you can see a void worm it is quite far away and the void worms spawn in the center strip of the map which is basically the lunar biome if you want to call it that and we're going to try and snipe it from a distance now what i have noticed is that from a specific distance it almost has like a, um a main aggro range then a like little um, outer edge where you can shoot it and it won't aggro onto you so that's pretty cool it is quite far away and uh, it is sometimes out of the range of the uh, fabricated sniper rifle I'm being careful here because I don't want to get hit or bit by this too many times it is a fairly high level creature the one that I'm trying to tame at least or showcase and so I don't want to get bit too many times definitely don't want to get caught by that because it will slow you down so what you saw right there I kind of flew out of the creatures aggro range um, I can still hit it so that's good I will take advantage of this of course I'm also using a very good ascendant fabricated uh, sniper rifle can do this with a normal one as well uh, it does work just as good but obviously the better the quality the more damage you will do to the creature and we do want to be quite far away now it will do a specific animation once it reaches the health uh, at which it can be tamed. So once we do see that animation, I normally tend to hit it one or two or maybe sometimes even three more times just for good measure because it does heal. So whilst uh, we are taming it, we don't want it to heal 100% to the point where we have to do some more damage to it because, of course, that will affect our taming effectiveness. So again... Uh, put your sniper away, you press control and shift to fly fast forward. Once we are out of range, it will de-aggro. Uh, I'm going to normally use a shot um, to kind of gauge my distance with the fabricated sniper rifle. Because if I shoot it and I don't get the marker to show me that I hit it, that means I am still out of range, so I come a bit closer. And that's kind of like the way I've been doing this. Okay, so we are at the right distance because we have hit it. It has not aggroed onto us. And I do miss some of the shots, which is a bit sucky, but hey-ho. All right, let's reload. I think we should be fairly close to the taming process. Oh, we have aggroed it. Okay, it's getting close enough. We put our sniper rifle away, pick up our shield... And then fly out of this creature's aggro range. Which it's kind of interesting because it does drop aggro pretty quickly. Now of course I'm doing this on single player. Uh, but I don't see why this would be very much more different on... Oh there's the animation that I was on about. I don't see why it would be much more different on the um, servers. Right that's good enough for health. Now now, this is where things get tricky because you have to get close to the, I'm going to call it Wyvern, the Tech Wyvern to tame it. So you have to mount it, that means you have to get close to it. And when it does this, this is your opportunity to do so. Uh, it will fly around, it is pretty darn fast, and if you do get close to it and it's facing you, it will try and bite and, of course, attack you. Um, so that is where the shield comes in handy, you can block some of the damage. And uh, generally, you just want to wait for it to hover about and then sneak up behind it. But it is a very fast creature in terms of flight, so it will take you some time to catch up with it. So do have some patience. And that's why we always bring its health uh, 
further down than uh, the minimum requirement because it will heal in that time. Once you climb it, you will then feed it mutagel when it does a spin, but do not judge it off the spin. You want to judge it off of the prompt. So you will just press E when the prompt goes white. Now, for some odd reason, the wyvern does like to dismount me, although I do the right thing. I don't quite get why this is a thing, so this could potentially be a bug. And another bug that I have seen is where I bring down the wyverns, the tech wyverns, the um, tech worm. Uh, I bring its health down to just about taming level and then it despawns so these are two bugs i have currently encountered uh with the most annoying one being the one with dismount you despite doing the right thing as you just saw here again which makes no sense to me all right here we go we have our void worm um I'm so going to call this wyvern very often, so do forgive me, I don't mean to do it, it's just, to me it's a wyvern, I do like it, and it is a pretty cool creature, so let's talk about what this creature can do. So, the void worm is pretty much similar to your standard wyvern, in that, of course, whilst flying, if you press C, you can pick up creatures, I think the maximum size creature is something along the lines of a stego, and if you press C whilst on the ground, it will do its wing flap and it will harvest wood and thatch and blow creatures away of course you have your standard bite and you also have your breath attack and as you can see in the tech worms case it is this blue beam it is quite limited but it is a constant breath attack it will of course consume stamina and it does also seem to slow down creatures whilst doing i would say a decent amount of damage of course we also have the normal bite so definitely a useful creature it looks cool and i definitely want one and of course now in terms of getting the mutagen you can obtain this in two ways you can go into the most dangerous biome which is rock walls innards and you can find that as mutagen or you can go and harvest the lunar biome on a specific time at a specific date where the resources will give you a mutagel and you need 800 mutagel for the crafting of the mutagen now the biome that crafts or allows you to get the mutagel will be the biome where you find the ambergris and the way it works out is it resets at 12 so the ship will jump to another system and it's quite random what system it jumps to and if you get the um lunar biome with the yellow rocks that has the ambergris then that is where you will find the mutagel and of course to convert the mutagel into mutagen or the other way around you will need a cam bench and that is pretty much it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative if you have please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them also for those interested you can always find me on the Sethtopia discord links us of course you can find down below in the video's description and until next time stay safe folks